What exactly killed the dinosaurs? The dust created by the asteroid impact obscured the sun for years. It is generally accepted that about 66 million years ago, a space rock struck the Earth, triggering a cascade of disasters that ultimately killed three quarters of life on Earth, including the dinosaurs. New computer simulations show that fine dust thrown into the atmosphere by the impact was responsible for the darkness and long global winter that followed the disaster and wiped out about 75% of the Earth's surface. Species of plants and animals. 66 million years ago, a large asteroid with a diameter of 10 to 15 kilometers hit the Earth, leaving behind the Chicxulub impact crater, which is located at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. The collision caused a gigantic catastrophe, as a result of which approximately 75% of the species became extinct species of plants and animals. The space rock hit Earth with the force of 10 billion atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima. It caused huge forest fires and a powerful tsunami that reached remote areas of the planet. The impact also spewed enormous amounts of sulfur into the atmosphere blocking sunlight from reaching the planet's surface and causing global cooling. These events changed the face of our planet forever. But the exact course of the disaster remains unknown. In new research published in Nature Geoscience, scientists argue that too little attention has been paid to the role of tiny dust particles that were thrown into the atmosphere by the violent event according to the authors of the publication it was dust that contributed most to the extinction of dinosaurs and other species the hypothesis that dust was responsible for most of the deaths of three quarters of life on Earth was originally proposed in 1980 by geologists who discovered the first signs of the massive impact. It was rejected in the early 21st century because rock samples from that era did not contain enough fine dust to cause a global winter. But previous studies were based on poor quality samples. A team of geologists led by Sem Beric Senel from the Royal Observatory of Belgium in Brussels re-examined the aftermath of the catastrophic impact. The new work analyzed 40 sediment samples taken from a 1.3-meter deep deposit in Tanis, North Dakota. The site is 3,000 kilometers north of the Chicxulub crater. But researchers said it provides a unique picture of how plumes of dust and soot spread after the impact. Larger particles scatter light at smaller angles than smaller ones. So the researchers first determined how much fine silicate dust, ranging from 0.8 to 8 micrometers, was present in each sample. We found a larger contribution of fine dust than previously thought, the scientists wrote. The researchers then used computer modeling. Using it, they determined that the fine dust that was created in huge amounts when the asteroid hit Earth and pulverized the rock beneath it was the deadliest of the factors that collectively influenced life on Earth at that time. The simulation showed that high levels of dust in the atmosphere, which covered the entire planet within a week, caused global darkness that could last up to two years, preventing plants from photosynthesizing. Without plants, the entire food chain collapsed. Predators, such as the famous T. rex, hunted prey that had a plant-based diet. Since the herbivores had nothing to eat, the predators also starved. 
Within two weeks of the impact, dust and soot effectively blocked light, preventing photosynthesis. But the plants were better off than the animals. Their seeds could wait for better conditions to germinate again. The shock from the collision also vaporized rocks and produced sulfur-containing gases that gathered high in the atmosphere. The intense heat generated by the asteroid impact caused wildfires on a massive scale, sending huge amounts of soot and ash into the sky. Soot. Sulfur and dust floating in the atmosphere blocked sunlight for years contributing to a global winter during which vegetation disappeared, with fatal consequences for animals. After about eight to nine years, sulfur began to disappear from the atmosphere, but dust particles still remained there. They could remain suspended in the atmosphere for up to 15 years. Moreover, they could cause global temperatures to drop by as much as 15 degrees Celsius. Fine silicate dust rather than sulfur was responsible for the long global winter, according to new research. We found that global darkness and long-term loss of photosynthetic activity on the planet only occur in the silicate dust scenario, the researchers wrote. Dust most likely caused the mass extinction by disrupting photosynthetic activity, Senel said. His colleague Philippe Claes from the Free University of Brussels added that silicate dust emerged from the simulations as the most effective photosynthesis blocker. Such dust makes the atmosphere opaque to sunlight, which hinders the process of photosynthesis in plants emphasized clays. We need to gain a deeper understanding of the causes of global cooling and the loss of photosynthesis to better understand the exact mechanisms that occurred after the impact. For the first time, paleoclimate simulations showed a two-year suppression of photosynthetic activity and a dust-induced winter lasting from 15 to 20 years, Senel noted. However, it is unlikely that this study will be the last word on whether soot, dust or sulfur contributed most to the mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous. Different studies use different models, which may influence the results, and differences between the models used may explain the disagreement among researchers.